I'm sitting with an abandoned bull terrier, multiple cute puppies, and even cats. Let's sit with some dogs. Look at this dog. You know exactly what she's going through if you've ever felt invisible, where people just passed you by or looked right through you. When I saw her, my chest hurt. It's that chest pain from your heart hurting so bad that your shoulders shrug over, you clench your fist in your eyes, and you just want to look away. But we're not going to do that today, because I have a feeling that's been this girl's life. Let's go in and sit down with her. She might be a little blind. I'm so sorry. Hi. Hi, what is going on? All kinds of things, huh? Oh, this breaks my heart. First, let me just say she's a senior dog, and you can see some of the things on her are just from being a senior dog, but there are other things that are just downright neglect for years. I mean, her paws, hi. I am sorry, whatever happened to you, I am sorry, and we got you from here. It breaks my heart that we just let dogs down so much sometimes. It's like her whole life was dedicated to somebody loving them and caring for them. And then this, they just give up on her in her senior years. And I don't know the whole story. Like, I don't know where she came from or what happened. But sometimes you don't need the whole story. You can just see it. I mean, her eyes are bad. Her paws are bad. Her skin is bad. And I don't think she's blind. I just think she's got so much gunk in her eyes she can't see. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Hi, can you see me? Hi. Oh yeah, if you see her eyes, they're just all murky. See how that gunk in her eyes is just not allowing her to see. What does that feel good? She's probably super itchy too. You know, I mean, this breed just in general has challenges, skin issues, tumors. I'm being careful where I touch her because she's got some sores and I don't want to hurt her. This isn't your best camera angle, girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, you wanna come up here? You wanna come up here? Okay, there you go. Thing is, is like, she's got so many things wrong with her. She had a little bit of blood and gunk everywhere. And like, it's okay, I'll just go home and wash my clothes. I don't even care because she just deserves this love and she deserves to know she's gonna be okay. That her whole life of giving and loving and loyalty wasn't all for naught. You know, like, she is loved. I love you. Just meeting you, just seeing you. My heart breaks for you. What's her story? Um, so she was found by Good Samaritan out on a, ma a main busy road, and uh, they had her for a week, and they stated that she was good with the grandchild. Oh, that's good. You like kids? Okay, so good with kids, probably good with cats, probably <laughs> probably good with anything that moves because she couldn't catch it. <laughs> That's the thing about senior dogs too, like a lot of people say they want a cuddly dog. <laughs> Get a senior dog, where are they gonna go? Oh, she can't see the camera. <sighs> what am I gonna call you? You know, I don't always like to go with like hope or something like that, but maybe something like that, like what would be? Dawn. Dawn, I like that. Like Dawn and the New Day. Yeah, Dawn and New Day. We will call you Dawn. Yeah, wow. Dawn has a lot of issues. I'm going to go see if I can pull a vet tech in here to examine her. Okay, I have something fun we can do today. I want to ask the staff and the volunteers if they could adopt any cat from the shelter right now, what cat would they take home? So there's a black one on the mall over there, on like the bottom. Well, he, I could take him on the Yeah, right? I love black cats. He's laying down. He's loafing it up. Oh, let's go check out Harmon. This will be our first ever sitting with cats. This is Harmon, right? Wow, look at those eyes. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you want love right away, huh? Hi. The scoop is a lot easier with kitties. Oh, it's a big purr. Yeah. What's his story? Um, so he was found as a stray. He might have belonged actually to someone before, but it looks like they reached out multiple times okay. to the, and there was nothing. So he's been here for uh, over a month now, well over a month. Oh, right. Okay, let's let Harmon stretch his legs a little bit. We'll come back and check on him. I want to tell you about this puppy that's been through the ringer. And I mean actual ringer, like 
doorbell ringer. Because somebody dropped him off at a random doorstep, rang the doorbell, and ran. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh. Like, if you volunteer at a shelter, this is just par for the course. Like, this is a normal day. You get to be around puppies like this. Huh? Oh, that puppy breath. <laughs> Whoa. Look, he's got the puppy belly. You know the puppy belly? Look at that puppy belly. Oh. What do you think? You ready for a puppy? No, because <laughs> our baby boy just turned one. Crew would love him. I mean, he really does match my pants, though. And my shoes. Like, he has the same outfit as me. <laughs> no joke, right after I sat with this adorable pup, I was told by the team he was getting adopted. What was your first thoughts about the dog when you first saw him? My heart sank. That was my dog. I knew right away. I called the that lady back and I was like, can I just take him right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. All right, there's Dad. Yay! Yeah! And we're doing something really fun today. We're going to surprise everyone when they adopt with a Furbo pet camera. They're the sponsor of this video and they're matching all of our donation funds. To date, we've raised $12,000 total. Get this, I'm walking by the lobby and I see Kyla filling out a form and I was just joking. I said, oh, you're gonna adopt? And she said, yeah, I'm thinking about adopting Harmon. I, I'm not even kidding. You spent time with Harmon? Yeah. He's so cool. He's so sweet, I yeah. know. So she's filling out the paperwork right now. She's putting Harmon on hold because she has to talk to her family to make sure everyone's okay with this. But Harmon could be going home now. I mean, cats are so picky with treats. Hi. Look at his tail. Oh, he likes them, huh? You like them? And his tail's vibrating, so you know that he's he's very happy. He a happy boy? Wanna try some different treats? Oh, you like that? <laughs> you know you know the treat bag? Okay. Okay, I've got a new segment here called Letting a Cat Pick Their First Meal. I've got different kind of treats. Let's see which one he goes for. And in typical cat fashion, he picked None of them. You know, there's this myth about black cats that they're bad luck, which is obviously untrue. And the thing that's really sad about that is it affects the lives of so many black cats in shelters that just don't get adopted. I'm just looking it up, but it seems like the superstition goes all the way back to the 13th century, which is just mind blowing to me. And they even at the shelter have to be really careful adopting black cats out around Halloween. The superstition is absolutely 100% not true. And if you are one to believe in superstitions, know this, that feeding a black cat or treating them well will bring you good luck. English sailors that kept black cats happy believed that this would bring them good weather on their voyage. Wives that kept a black cat in their house believed that that would return their husband safely. So there you go. If you're thinking about adopting a cat, consider a black cat. Oh, and good news on Dawn. I was able to get Brenda, a registered vet tech, in to give us her assessment. Oh, hi, honey. Why do you look like you have hives? Yeah, she looks like... And her forehead's bleeding a little bit. So I know she had a bunch of just generalized masses. Yeah. But they are exactly without diagnosis. We can't really tell. Yeah, come um, These kind of breeds have a tendency to get allergies pretty fairly quickly. Hi, honey. Can we see what's going on with the noggins? Let me see. Okay. So we had some really severe eye issues going on. A little bit of an entropy on it looks like, just meaning that the eyelids are curling inwards, which causes a lot of irritation. So we just need to clean out your eyes and get some meds you, in there. What do you think about the uh, paws? Do you think it's just her age? So the paws can be related to anything being either systemic or the same thing with the skin. If we're having a lot of issues, we're going to be itchy on our feet too. We're yeah. going to be chewing on them. We're going to be licking in between them. Most likely she just hadn't been cared for in her yeah. over years, huh? Because these kind of babies, you want to make sure that you're keeping their coats and their just their general health, their gut health nice and healthy. Because we always, everything always starts with the belly. 
Let me see what I can get ya. That a hump with Tama Douche itchies my kid on, okay? Old dogs in shelters just don't have a good shot because everyone comes in and they want a puppy. Here's what people tell me when I say, oh, you should adopt a senior dog. They go, oh, I couldn't do that. And I know why, because you think I'd be heartbroken when the dog died sooner than later. But the thing is, if you adopt a senior dog, if you come to the shelter, you're really doing it for them. Whether it's a month or six months or, you know, a year, you're saying, I'm gonna give them the best life that they can have, whatever's left of it. So they leave this world knowing that they are loved, that there is love, that humans are good. That's why you're doing it. And yes, it will be hard on your heart for sure, but it is so rewarding. Any senior dog I've ever had where that we fostered, like we fostered a senior dog one time and they weren't with us for a few days, but you know what? In those few days, they were loved. Now in the kennel right next to Dawn, I got to meet a pair of sweet dogs, both with unfortunately equally tragic backstories. The young one was scared and the old one, well, she just looked like she had given up. Hi, it's okay, come here. You scared? Now this little one, she started off pretty scared and I found out it is for a good reason because she was just dropped in the night drop, no notes or anything. It's gonna take some time and space with these two. Need a little, a little piece? Oh yeah, a little piece for the little puppy. Now the heartbreaking thing about her is someone left her a night drop and they didn't leave any details. What that tells me is that it wasn't a good Samaritan that found her as a stray because you would write as much information as you could down so if someone was missing their dog, they could find their dog. More likely, someone put her in the night drop and didn't want anyone to know it was them because they were dumping their dog. You can imagine a dog like this would have major trust issues just being dropped in the night drop and obviously the person who dropped her in there didn't care about them at all. And it is neglect. If you leave a dog in a night drop and you don't cite the reasons as to why and you're the owner, that is absolutely downright neglect. Animal control could take action on that. All right, we seem to be making progress with just some treats. So we'll just keep that up. Do I need to have some dual treating going on here? Yes, that's awesome. She's 12, you're 12, darling? You're at the shelter. What was she night drop, or do we know her story? That one was found at a hospital, actually, um, by a good Samaritan that worked there. Found at a hospital. A lot of people don't know this, but sometimes dogs come to the shelter because their mom or their dad died, and they have nowhere to go. You always want to have a plan of what you do with your pet if something happens to you. Who do they go to? Say, what is the open hand treat? Oh, that's even better. Those little bits of progress right there are actually big amounts of progress for dogs like this because it breaks barriers and it helps them in a meet and greet. If they meet someone else, they'll be more likely to take a treat because they know nothing bad's gonna happen. You still okay over here? I know it's your first day. She's only been here for like five minutes, by the way. <laughs> You're brand new, huh? She even has a sign on her kennel to be patient with her and she's new, no loud sounds. Now, old mama here, she's only been here for about five minutes, but the reason she was put in here with her is because with small dogs, it can really comfort them. And this old gal right here, you know, she's <laughs> she's no threat. And so they know right away that they can put these two together and it may help give them comfort. The shelter staff and team work so hard to make sure each and every one of these dogs are comfortable while they're here. Their hearts just pour in to helping these animals. All right, darling, you need a name. I think that'll help bring out your little personality. What should we name you? She reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog's little sidekick. I feel like we should call her Tails, especially because she has no tail. And what about your friend? How about uh, uh, following the theme, we'll go with Sticks. Don't think I don't see the comments about, well, what about cats? Don't you care about cats? You don't like cats? Rocky hates cats. I love cats. If you could adopt any cat at the shelter right now, what cat would you adopt? This dude right here. I love tabbies and he's super sweet and super playful. He likes to talk even though he's quiet right now. He likes to be held and purrs nonstop. Okay, here's another puppy. Meet Lindsay. <laughs> Hi. 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 
immediately you can tell why she is not getting adopted. Her energy level is off the chart. Okay, now I played with her with all kinds of toys for about 20 minutes and still no drop in energy. What, do you know her story? Um, she was just abandoned in Night Drop as a stray. Oh, as a little puppy? Yeah. I'm sorry, girl. Yeah, she, I think the reason people are passing her by is just because her level of energy. As you can see, she's a wiggly puppy. And because she's so big, you know, a smaller puppy is just easier management because you can just pick her up. See, look at that. Yeah. Oh, you want some love now? You want some love? And the thing is, I've only spent 20 minutes with her and she's already brought her energy level down a lot. Look at that, that state of mind right there is just relaxing, trust. And you saw, when I first started with her, there's no way I would have been able to do this. Some treats, some exercise, some patience. That's a good dog right here. Someone's gonna be very lucky. Look, guys, 20 minutes and we got to this. And you telling me she's too much work? I'm gonna make sure that we get you with the perfect family, okay? I might have some news for you. I'm not gonna tell you right now because I don't want to get you excited and then let you down, but get this. Someone is here right now that might be adopting Lindsay. What? I know, this day is, is wild. It's This is so great. You're adopting the Latin girl? Yeah. Oh, she's so great. Yeah, we're really excited. What, uh, we nicknamed her Lindsay. Do you have a name for her? Those are the baby Yeah, she come out and she'll be. Those are, yeah, those are great, yeah. Thanks for adopting her, that's so awesome. You're going home. You're adopted. <laughs> hey, don't you worry. You're going to be next. Attention, animal friends of the valleys. Congratulations to the Powell's family for adopting Shelby. It's so fun watching them go to their new family. Again, we're giving them a Furbo. This will come in really handy. It can help with separation anxiety. If you have a new puppy at home and you have a Furbo, you can check in on them when you're away, toss them a treat, talk to them. I think it's gonna be a big help. Good luck with your new family, Lindsay. I don't know what it is today, but pets are getting adopted left and right, and it's awesome. We've got a few dogs adopted. Maybe with this string of luck, we can get some cats adopted as well. Okay, now this little furry one right here, we named Maxwell. And right when I arrived at the shelter today, he was just staring me down. And so I decided I had to figure out how to win him over. I mean, the purring. I know, it's like you know that cats purr, but you like forget what it's like until you hold them again and feel it. Should I do my standard like sit down, no eye contact? Like I do with dogs? It's working. Okay. I am no cat expert. I love cats. I want a cat so bad, but our dog Kobe, it would just send him over the top. And with his heart issues, we don't. Get in a little too close and personal there. The attitude. Do you mean Catitude. The catitude. <laughs> I think the neat thing about all of this is certainly most people see me as a pro when they watch my channel, but I am constantly learning with pets. And that's what's, I think, the approach you have to take when you go to a shelter to volunteer, is it's always about learning and... Hi, what's your name? <laughs> okay, this is not working. I have an idea, though. I talked to some of the cat ladies at the shelter and, uh, I have a little catnip as a secret weapon. So we're gonna put a little catnip on the toys here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna rub it on there. And this one, this one's the best, I think, because it's got the little tail. They'll smell, they'll start coming this way. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Isn't that fun? They're gonna be like so much more loving and playful now. No, you can't have the whole thing, dude. <laughs> you're out of you're out of control. You are cut off. <laughs> Maybe I am the cat expert. Sitting with cats, my next YouTube channel. You're gonna start your own YouTube channel? <laughs> well, Don't do that. Everyone will just watch your channel. They won't watch mine anymore. <laughs> The cool thing is we really did start to earn Maxwell's love and he started playing with us a bit. And next, something unbelievable happened. 
Maxwell caught a family's eye that was sitting there in the lobby, and they adopted him. His new name is Freddy, and he's going home. We're gonna send them a new Furbo cat camera to help them with the adoption process. Get this, I hear somebody might be coming in to get tails. They put a hold on her, and so it could happen today. She could get adopted today, which would be so great because you saw how much she was already warming up. If someone took her home, that would be awesome. But I think they actually moved her to try to help her warm up with maybe some other dogs. So we, we gotta go find her. I think she's inside somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, look. They put her in here with all the other dogs just so that she can have companionship. So we've got all the littles in here. Okay, but the thing is, is there's not much time left in the day and if her hold doesn't come, I just worry she's not gonna get adopted. Okay, now in the meantime, it was time for me to go check and see if my old friend was still here. Oh, Bubba. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. You're a good boy, Vince. You're a good boy. Let's check here. Let's see how you've been doing on walks. You've been getting lots of walks, bud. That's good. That's good. I love you, man. We are gonna get this figured out, bud. I promise. Vince is still here. It's always tough when I walk in and I walk up to a kennel like that and I'm both excited to see the dog, but I'm also just heartbroken that he's still here. But here's the thing, like I've fallen in love with Vince. So I'm gonna go around and talk to the staff today, see if there's anything I can do to help. I mean, even at this point, if we need to help Vince be adopted out of state, if I've got to pay for transport, whatever. I'm already covering his adoption fee. That's only, it's only like $25, $50 more so. What do we need to do to help get him into the right home? Because he needs us at this point. Now we're gonna go ahead, I told Lisa I gave him permission to go ahead and send him out and get him neutered now. Oh, and great. we're gonna go ahead and give him a rabies shot too. So if he needs to go, he will already have what he needs for his health certificate. So it'll already be set. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in. She was supposed to get that scheduled right away. Ah, oh, that's great. So No, the big dogs again, they end up staying here a little bit longer. Everybody wants that cute little little one that they can put their person walk around, right? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. big dogs. But uh but no, I mean, I'm all for this. Oh, and guess what? I just got word that Tails potential adopters are here and it looks like they are even signing the adoption paperwork. All right, and I got the opportunity to talk to Cindy, one of the potential adopters, and she shared something with me that anyone who's lost a pet just knows the pain all too well. Well, I just lost my 14-year-old baby, so I need oh, to be one. I'm sorry. You had her for 14 years? Yeah. Yeah, it's, so, it's always so hard, but I'm glad you came to adopt. I appreciate it. She was the second I looked at you thumb. And you just knew. Yeah. I was really touched that she took the time to share all of this with me, and I think it made what's coming next even more meaningful. You're getting adopted! <laughs> Do you remember yesterday? Yes. Oh, yeah. And it's a camera. You can, when you're away from the house, you can just check in on her. You can toss treats on your phone so you can give her treats when, when you're gone. And it'll give you alerts. So if she's barking a lot or under stress, it'll send alerts right to your phone. I've seen the commercial on those. Oh, it's, it's so cool. cool. two favorites right now. <laughs> one is in community, a two. He's like a little cream and red orange one. He's so friendly. Before you even walk in, he's meowing at you through the window. As soon as he sees you, he's bolting towards you, trying to climb up you. I love him. The other one is we have a gray and white that's over here um, in his own little spot, um, but he's so playful through the pedo. He Every time he sees a person, he's rolling around and he's following you. Get this, I just got back to the farm and I found out Kyla actually adopted Harmon. Yes, Harmon, congratulations on your new family. This is what I'm telling you about the entire team at Animal Friends of the Valley. They pour their whole heart into helping these animals and Kyla is yet just another example of how they practice what they preach. But I will tell you, my heart is heavy right now. I can't stop thinking about Dawn and I've made a decision that I'm gonna go back and get her. Now, I don't have all the answers yet. I'm gonna make some phone calls. I've gotta figure this out and if you wanna be 
be a part of this with me, I would love to have you as a member. It helps me continue to be able to do what I'm doing and you'll be the first to know. I'll update you on what the plan is with Dawn. What I love is that the Furbo for Good Fund is saving dogs like Dawn and all of the animals that you saw here. Like I mentioned earlier, our donations have already added up to $12,000 in total and the Furbo for Good Fund is going to help feed dogs, shelter dogs, pay for adoptions, all kinds of other things. The total number of pets that they've helped now is over 36,000. And I say pets specifically because of the exciting new Furbo for Cats. If you can watch your dog at home, why not your cat? That's what Furbo for Cats is gonna be. I'm gonna put the link down below for all the information of Furbo for Good and to get yourself a new Furbo for your cats. I think it's so smart that Furbo designed a camera for cats, especially because it has everything that a cat parent would need, like alerts for meowing, vomiting, even cat activity. All of this to help keep your cats safe and happy at home.